So we've added our menu widget with our drop down menu. Now we want to style it and add the links. Um, so always make sure you're doing these things either in the master or before you copy and paste it to other pages. You don't want to have to redo all of this work on every single one of your pages. So first up, let's add the links because a menu without links is pretty useless. I click on one of the menu items, in this case home, and then over in my inspector pane, I go to my interactions tab, new interaction, on click, open link, and you choose it from the list, okay. And you can see that little yellow lightning bolt saying there is a link here. We're doing beach now new interaction, on click, open link and beach. Let's do our sub menu. So the, exactly the same process, new interaction, on click, open link, uh, foreshore, wildlife, new interaction, on click, open link, whoops, not foreshore, silly me, wildlife, okay. And lastly in this menu, we're gonna do restaurants, on click, open link, um, restaurants, okay, fantastic. So we've got the links to the different pages. How do we style it? Uh, quite simply actually, if we select one of the menu items, let's go to style, just like we did for text, we're going to change some of the style settings. So I'm going to change my, actually I do restaurants, that way we can see it in the same screen. So color, let's choose this uh, dark, no, we'll choose the green color. Now we can't read the text very well because of a poor contrast, so I'll change both the border to white and, hang on, is that white? Yeah, weird, it doesn't look very white to me. Um, and we'll change the text to white as well. There we go. Okay, so that's looking okay. Um, now you notice it hasn't updated the others. That's because we have to update our style. So the menu item asterisk means it needs updating. Click on update and all of your menus will be the same. Now we might want our sub menu or maybe you want different menu items to be different colors to show different sections of the site. Not too difficult to do. So we'll just go and change this fill color. We'll use that dark steely blue um, and we want to make a new style with that. So instead of update, we click create and let's call this one sub menu and I'll click OK. And then for all of our submenu items, we just change it. Sorry, that's off the, the screen. I'll see if I can bring that onto the screen so you can see it, probably not. Um, no, still off the screen. Below teal, there is submenu. Um, I only record a section of the screen to keep the file sizes smaller. Okay, so that is working all right. Um, however, I'm just going to zoom out. If we preview this, um, great, you know, it works. We've got our menu, but one thing that isn't behaving like a normal menu does is a rollover effect to indicate there is interaction. I mean, you can see it's changing to that little pointy hand. So yes, it's interactive, but it's really good to use some sort of rollover effect or mouse over effect to show that it can be interacted with. So let's go in and do that. I'm going to select my, actually I'll do restaurants again so we can more easily see it. It's in the interactions tab. So below, rather than new interaction, what we want is down here at the mouse over style effect. And you see here we have the option of widget style. So I'm going to tick on that and we want it to be menu item. Uh, the fill color, this is the mouse over fill. Uh, let's select a lighter version of what we've got now. And then we want to ensure we've still got adequate Contrast, we'll choose the black there. Now, this gives us our mouse over. What if you want something else? So if I click on more style properties, let's click to combine and edit the different styles. We've got mouse over, what if we want mouse down as well? Um, so again, I'm going to click on fill color. You just click on the things you want to change and leave the rest. So I'll choose the lighter version again. 
You should have some hex codes to use from your uh, color palette. Um, and that is quite adequate. You can see that it's updating all of them. So now, if I close out of this and preview, terrific. We've got a mouse over effect and when I click on it, it also changes color. Great, okay, so that is working. So that is how you use a menu widget.